She's pretty sweet, huh? Well, that she is. Richie's right. You, uh, you do nice work. Yeah, I hollowed out the cams, put in bigger piston heads, you know, give a couple more horses. Good. Good, yeah, because I, uh, I probably would have hollowed them out myself, now I don't have to. That's good. <laughs> so you want to do the deal? Hmm, I don't know. What do you want for it? 1200 Hmm, it's a nice bike, but I don't know if it's 1200 nice. 1200 It is nice. <laughs> Still, I don't know, you know, 1200 What are you looking for? I don't know. Here's 1200 Actually, I uh, stopped somewhere first. In fact, I uh, I need to talk to you. Let me just get dinner started real quick. Uh, dinner can wait. You know, I, I want to get this out now. Dinner can wait? Okay, now you're really scaring me. Well, what? Carrie, sometimes in a marriage, <laughs> there comes a time when one of the members of that marriage needs to express themselves in a way that Douglas said is one badass motorcycle you got out there. I swear to you. Hey, neighbors just came by to say howdy. What? Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, I'll be with you in two seconds. I just need to find my... Ugh. I'm sorry, what did you... Your neighbors? Yes, indeed. Doug and Carrie Heffernan just came by to welcome you to the hood. Yeah, Jessica Wicks. Hi. I'm hey, sorry, Jess. I'm so frazzled. Just, I spent the last two days moving out of my loft, which I had every right to keep, but you know what? My ex-husband can have it. He can enjoy it. With any luck, he'll trip and split his head up on the coffee table. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, there they are. Oh, hey, smoker, honey, huh? Carrie here used to be a big smoker. Still would be, too, but she started to cough up black stuff. So what house are you in? Uh, 8013, just down the block. Oh, wait a minute. There's a really cute guy who came out of 8017. Mm. Freak. Really? Mm-hmm. He has a rabbit and he walks it. <laughs> You'll see him. Shoot, I was hoping for a piece of that. Me too. Oh, oh. kidding, honey. <laughs> 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 hey, look at this. You both want to sleep with the same guy. Hey, I'll watch the rabbit. <laughs> Eight, eight, nine, ninety, and ninety-one. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Morales, but there's a new sheriff in town, and his name is Doug Heffernan. Keep going, my man. Build on it, build on it. Ninety-two, oh. <laughs> ninety-three, ninety-four. All right. Ninety. Oh. <laughs> Guess that one didn't land. At least you're in the record books, my man. Come on, let's hit the road. Come on. Keek? What? Could you please come to me? What's up? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think I may have shot myself. Really? Where? In, in a very, very bad place. Where? Right in the twins' playpen. <laughs> Does it hurt? Actually, no. It's it's like more of a little sting, you know, like a like a rabbit bit me. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Maybe it's not in there. Maybe it just grazed you. Yeah, maybe it grazed me. Right? Yeah. But do, do me a favor. Take a look. Oh no, no, no way, man. Look, come on, would you take a look, please. I don't please? want to look. You look. I, I don't bend that far. All right. All right. Just look. Don't touch anything. Yeah. Good thing you mentioned that. <laughs> hey, don't. How about, a, how about an update there, pal? 
Okay, it, it's definitely in there. Oh my God, what should I do? What do I do? Just relax, don't panic. Don't, I have to panic, okay? I'm attached to my shorts. All right, look, look, we'll take care of it. All right, take care of it. Get it out of me, man. Get it out of me. Uh, all right, look, look. I'm gonna take you to the emergency room, then I'll finish your shift, all right? Good, all right. okay. Hand off me. <laughs> Listen, we wanted to talk to you guys about something. Sure, what's up? Well, Major's christening's coming up, and part of that whole thing is that we have to be godparents for him. And we've been going crazy this week trying to figure out, you know, should they be relatives, friends, older, younger? I mean, should they be black? Should they have kids of their own? You know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway. We picked you guys. Us? Really? <laughs> wow. That's... Wow. We are so touched. Well, it's a symbolic thing, mostly. You know, being at all the special occasions, that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Well, and there's one other thing. What? Well, you know, if anything happens to me and Deacon, you'd sort of step in and raise the boys. Oh. Uh-huh. So you want to think about it for a while, or? What are you, are you kidding me? Sign us up. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, man, we are in. In like Flynn or Flint, whichever. Right? <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Thank you guys so much. Thank us, thank you. Get in here, <laughs> God. Say Godparents. Godparents. God <laughs> oh, that's great. We'll make you a copy. You guys want an eight by ten? Oh no, no, that's way too big. Yeah, yeah, small one, small one. <laughs> so as long as we're here, um, kind of need to talk to you guys about something. Sure. What's up? Yeah. What's going on? Well, we were just at home and we were we were talking about it and we were just kind of thinking. Uh, thinking that. Uh, <laughs> well, first of all, right off the bat, let me just tell you something. We, we, we love your kids. Love them. Love them. I mean, this one here, he's a champ, and Major, even though we don't know him too well yet, uh, gives off a good vibe. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, good, good vibe. Plus, yeah, because you can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. He's already got a nice head of hair, too. Beautiful. Very natural. <laughs> Thanks. Well, the thing is that... Uh, just got a kind of got our hands full. What with Arthur? Oh, and... he is a full-time job. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, we we may have kids of our own soon. Yes, so. yes, we may. You know, this one's such a dingbat about taking her pill. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what are you saying? Um, I guess what we're saying is that. Hey, Regis Philbin, this guy's on fire, huh? <laughs> So you don't want to be the godparents? Look, Kel, I'm sorry, but you know how we feel about you guys. You know, if something were, were to happen, it would just be way too much for us. Okay. I mean, I understand. It's just, you know, you seemed so enthusiastic the other night. Hey, I had a whole sleeve of Oreos. I was flying. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Deke. Uh, you know, it's cool. I mean... I guess it was kind of a heavy thing we put on you guys. Seriously, you guys, it's really okay. Well, good. Good. <clears throat> hey, here you go. There you go. <laughs> What's up, Kat? Uh, the main cable connection comes in through the attic. I just got to get up there and jiggle the wires, and the picture will be fine. Oh, right, well, jiggle it, because it's almost half time. All right, I just got to shimmy up through the trap door. Well, you got a ladder or something? No, it's fine. Just give me a boost. For no ladder? You want to watch the game? Well, yeah. Come on, give me ten fingers. All right, all right. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, come on, I'm almost there. Uh, hurry. I can't. Just give me a couple more inches. I can't reach it. I uh, can't. Come on. Oh, oh God. Oh, Grace. Oh, the only no. Grace. My am stuck. Grace. Tight ass. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Doug? Hey. Hi. What are you doing up here? Uh, it's gonna be at least another hour. Thought you might be getting hungry, and I also think you have a right to know that Richie's getting ready to paint your toenails. He is? <coughs> Ow! Okay, well, if I ever need asbestos, I know where to go. Here. Oh, thanks. What? No juice box? 
Excuse me, I had to climb up the frickin' trellis to bring you this. I needed one free hand. You never heard of a backpack? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's a joke. Were you still mad at me? Yes, I... What? Come on, let's talk it out. Um... What? Doug? <clears throat> yeah? How do you feel in general about <sighs> mice or maybe a, a rat? <clears throat> Not a fan, why? Behind me? Doug? Is there a rat behind me? Okay, would you just relax? I can't relax, all right? Right now I'm about 18 inches tall and I smell like barbecue. Okay, don't, don't panic. He's not even paying attention to you. What? Is he coming towards me? Well, he's closer than he was. Oh, for the sweet love of God, kill it! Use your shoe! I can't kill it! Here. Look, it worked. He's eating it. Good. Think he's gonna finish it? <laughs> Cereal. <laughs> I had you last night, too. That that's one theory. Here's another. They came in through the garage door that you left open. What? No, no, I did not. Did, Carrie, did. Okay, you were the last one to use it. It's open. That means, try and stay with me here, that you left it open. <laughs> Doug, would you stop yelling at me, okay? Because I know I closed it. I remember distinctly. I drove into the garage, got out of the car, walked to the door, and... Oh. <laughs> oh. Innocent people don't say, oh, Carrie. Well, my, my cell phone rang. It was my boss yelling at me about the stuff I hadn't faxed to him yet. I, I, had, I, had, I had the cell phone in one hand, your insoles in the other, and I, I guess I forgot to hit the button. Oh, come on. Well, the, the button's too small, and it's not lit up or anything. Hey, don't you <laughs> dare blame that button. I hope they make it in time for breakfast. Or at least in time for lunch. <laughs> you two want to be alone? No, 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 just, uh, Checking to see what kind of apples they were. Just regular red ones. Sorry we're late. Oh, that's okay, that's okay, no problem. It's hard to get going in the morning, you know? So you wanna hit the buffet? Yeah, I'm starving. Okay. Oh, an omelet bar. You with me? Yeah, let's do it. Morning, my man. I have a three egg omelet with ham, tomato, green peppers, and chives. Y'all have the same. Sorry again about being so late. Oh, that's okay. So, what was the holdup? Lose a contact? Not in a shoelace? No, actually, Deacon woke me up with a little something-something on his mind. <laughs> oh, really? That's sweet. <laughs> I guess being up here away from the kids, you two finally have a chance to go a little crazy, right? <laughs> Not really. We managed to do pretty well at home, too. Where there's a will, there's a way. Am I right? Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. All right, knock it off. Why? You're making me look bad. What are you talking about? Look, you and Kelly three times last night, and then... What was this little thing this morning? What was that all about? Were you just trying to zets me? 
Come on, there's gotta be something up here that's getting you going. What is it, the, the clean air, the water? Apples turn you on? What? No, what is going on with you? Nothing. No, seriously, tell me, what's wrong? Well, I, I've always thought that Doug and I had a, a good sex life, and I mean, we do, but I started thinking that maybe I, I just don't turn Doug on anymore. I'm still really turned on by her, Deke, I am. It's just that, you know what it is? I'm, I just built a fire once. <laughs> like a musket. <laughs> what do you want from me? I guess I would just feel better if Doug and I were having more sex. I'd just feel better if you and Kelly were having less sex. <laughs> I've never made a best man toast before, so I, I need a little feedback just to, you know, see if I'm headed in the right direction, okay? Let her rip. What can I say about my cousin Danny? Okay, I gotta stop this. <laughs> this is unbearable. Arthur, I only read like six words. You're reading, that's the point. A speech needs to seep from your soul. All right, look, just listen to the whole thing, then tell me if it's good or not, okay? Fine. Okay. okay. What can I say about my cousin Danny? He makes great pizza and he's gonna make a great husband, but I'm sure all Eva cares about is that he makes a lot of dough. <laughs> All right. Danny and I have known each other since we were kids, and I always knew he'd find somebody special. And Diva, well, you're just gonna have to settle for Danny. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, Danny, Eva, I wish you all the best. So? It stunk, all right? There, I said it. <laughs> what, what, what should I say? You have to grab him. Get him on your side! How do I grab him? Open up by hinting that you slept with the bride. <laughs> then pull a pair of panties out of your pocket and give her a little wink. It kills. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, Doug and I need a pair of your panties. Dad, I just can't give you a bigger no. <laughs> Abby? Yeah, Sunday is great. Yeah, we'll do it here at my house. Um, some other friends of ours are gonna join. Is that cool? Okay. Great, we'll see you Sunday at 11. All right, bye, sweetie. Oh, that worked out. Man. People are really into us. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those guys who leaves incredibly long messages on the machine. You know, I come home, I gotta go to the bathroom, I hit the button, it's like, hey, guy, it's Bob. What are you doing? Give me a call back. I'm at two, two, three, five, 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 five. <laughs> Oh, your baby is so adorable. Mm -hmm. Both your you. kids. Thank you. Actually, Mark and I have been talking about whether it's time to have one of these little guys ourselves. Uh oh. Really? <laughs> wow. You should do it. Well, we think we might. Uh, really? So soon? You guys have only been married two years. You haven't had time to enjoy each other yet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Kids really do take over. I mean, we haven't seen a movie in the theater in probably six months. Yeah. We have no life. We're at the movies literally every night. <laughs> On the other hand, there's just, you know, there's something about it. It's like all my priorities changed the day we found out we were having Kirby. And when they smile at you and call you daddy, I, I tell you what, it's the best. Oh, Mark. Oh, I know. God, maybe it's time. You know, uh, having a baby really does ruin your body, though, Abby. It... <laughs> it, it, it never comes back. <laughs> Except for you. Thanks. <laughs> Can I hold him? Oh, sure. Uh, watch out, Abby. That one's a drooler. <laughs> hey there. Oh, look, Mark. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Ooh, I have very small feet. <laughs> hey, Mark. What's the deal with capers, huh? I don't know. <laughs> OK, here's our home phone, my work phone, Mark's work phone, our email, which is always the best way to reach us, and cell phone. Oh, great, thanks. All right, guys. All right, guys. All right. All right man. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sure. Bye -bye. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. All right, bye-bye. Bye. bye. Wow. Work phone, home phone, cell phone, email. Yeah, they really don't want to lose touch, do they? <laughs> it's good, though. You know, now our friends are friends with each other. Yeah, it's, it's nice when you can make that happen. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Son of a bitch, they stole the Schmankmans. <laughs>
Hey, check it out. Coming up on the Atlantic City turnoff. Oh, yeah, hey, look, look at the billboard with the 3D dice. Look like they're coming at you, you know? What the call? <laughs> Wanna make a detour? Do a little gambling? Are you serious? Hell yeah. I can't. I gotta go tonight with Carrie to see Annie get your gun. Oh, come on, man. We're practically there. Just bear to the right of the next exit. Not even turn, just bear. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Car. Well, that's Carrie. This is fake. Yo, tell me you want to go to AC. Shut, 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 shut. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. So where are you? Uh, we're back on the Jersey Turnpike. We just did our drop in Philly. You're making good time. What time do you think you'll be home? Uh, well, we got some bad news, honey. Yes! <laughs> what's up? Uh, well, dispatch just called. We, we got to make another drop. Oh, my God. Well, where do you have to go? Um... Bermhaven. <laughs> Bermhaven? Where the hell is that? Exactly. Well, I guess I'll just find someone else to go to the show with. Okay, well, you know what? Have a great time. I love you. All right, I love you too. Drive safely. Bye. Bye. There's no business like show business like no business I know. Put on a tie. Hot dog! <laughs> Hey, let me use your phone so I can tell Kelly. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you going to say? That we're going to Atlantic City. You can't say that. She'll tell Carrie. They talk all the time. So I have to lie to my wife just because you lied to yours. It's pronounced Bermhaven. <laughs> Let's beat the living crap out of this place. Here we go. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up a second, hold up a second. Listen, I just cashed a check and I don't want to lose more than $200. Hold the rest of my money. Sure. Look, you know how I am, all right? So even if I beg, don't give it to me. Okay. No, I mean it, Deke. Okay, I might get ugly. I could mention your mother. Don't take the bait. <laughs> don't mention my mother. Fair enough, let's gamble. Uh, that baby should be all warmed up in about 20 minutes. Hey, microwave's faster. <laughs> hey, Doug, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, sure. Do you enjoy a nice glass of water? <laughs> yeah, when I can't get a beer or any other liquid. <laughs> <clears throat> Try this. All right. Well, it's, it's good. <laughs> ah, so you like it. Yeah, you know, we have this at our place too, Tim. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, see, that's where you're wrong, my friend. See, your water doesn't go through the sparkle tap. Oh, got yourself a little water filter, huh? Oh, I don't just got one. I sell them. <laughs> Then I license 10 people to sell the sparkle tap. Then they each license 10 more people, and so on, so on. I get a cut from the sale of each filter and from the sale of each license. <laughs> incredible, huh? Oh, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, Doug, last year when I was fired, we came very close to losing this house. I mean, I owed a lot of money to a lot of scary people. <laughs> but now, thanks to sparkle tap, I've got a new job. Walking to the mailbox in my pajamas and taking out checks from people I don't even know. <laughs> wow, that's, that's great, man. You really like the idea? Yeah, I mean, you obviously got a great mind for business. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> so, you want to start with 50 or 100 filters? <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that I wanted to. I, I, I was just... Just, uh, just... Just what? Just... Blowing smoke? No, no, no. When I, when you, I didn't know. Doug, that... If you don't think it's a good idea, just say that. Don't, don't humor me. I'm not humoring oh, you. See, now it all makes sense why you guys have been avoiding us. We're just the idiots next door, right? No, come on, Tim. It's not true. We love seeing you guys. And this filtered thing, hell of an idea. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Right. So, 50 or 100? <laughs> You're trying to ruin this, this vacation out of spite, aren't you? 
No, 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 no. He, he, he overheard me talking, and he thought I was inviting him, and then he got so excited, I, I just didn't want to say no. I don't want your father in my road burn. <laughs> Why not? We got that great table bed, right? Yes, we do. But I don't want to eat breakfast on a table that recently held your father's ass. That's ass breakfast! Well, Doug, you know, we do have another option. I mean, my father doesn't like to fly, so we could go to, oh, I don't know, Paris? <laughs> oh, well, this is a side of you I've never seen. What do you mean? What do I mean? You think that if you invite your father on the RV, I'll back out. And then we can go to Paris like you wanted in the first place. No, 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 no. I just thought it would be nice to have my father with us. Oh, the lies! <laughs> you know what? That's it, okay? You know what you just bought yourself? A trip with your father, because I'm not backing down on this one. That's fine. Fine, little sunshine sister, because that's the deal. And as long as we're inviting people on vacation, watch this little ditty. Spence! <laughs> oh, yeah, it's gonna happen. That's, that's fine, that's fine. I like Spence. You all, uh, packed? Yep. You? Yep. Great. Excited. Oh, yeah. I was excited. Hold it. I don't have it. Move faster. It's heavy. Dad, what the hell is that? I bought a canoe. I figured, why rent? It'll pay for itself after 50 uses. We don't have room for a canoe, Arthur. Oh, I told you! Shut up! If you hadn't been so whiny, we could have snuck it by them. Okay, back down. Man, what the hell did we do? We destroyed our vacation, that's what. You know, now that my father and Spence are coming, the thought of you and me alone in an RV sounds like a little slice of heaven. What if we bolt right now? We'll drive through the night. They'll never find us. Nah. They'll hear the engine starting. They'll run after us like dogs. No, we just gotta bite the bullet and get this stupid vacation over with. No, no, that is not acceptable, okay? We got the Roadbird Freedom 5000 sitting right outside, okay? I cannot, I, I will not let that dream go. Well, you don't know what the hell.